Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Well, today, first responders in Farmington Hills will roll up their sleeves for a good cause. The city's police and fire departments will compete in the annual Battle of the Badges. It's a friendly competition hosted by the American Red Cross, and the goal is to collect blood donations. Donors can cast a vote for either department with their blood donation. Today's drive is taking place from 8 o'clock this morning to 8 o'clock this evening at the Caustic Center on 11 Mile Road. Motown Records founder Barry Gordy Jr. is making a big donation for an expansion project at the Motown Museum right here in Detroit. Gordy will donate $4 million towards that project. The gift coincides with Motown's 60th anniversary this year. Gordy's donation is the largest individual gift since that project was announced back in 2016. The museum's expansion plans include interactive exhibits, a performance theater, recording studios, and meeting spaces. The Motown Museum, of course, is located right there in Hitsville, USA, that beautiful home on West Grand Boulevard on Detroit's west side. This morning is dry after we had thunderstorms roll through last night and we're going to have some cloud cover this morning, decreasing clouds throughout the day. So kids going to the bus stop today in Warren around 64 degrees early on and we don't warm up much today. The winds will be out of the northwest around 10 to 15 miles per hour this afternoon. That's going to keep temperatures down a bit. So we only warm up maybe six or seven degrees and we're up to about 71 degrees by the time the kids are heading back home this afternoon and mostly sunny skies. So we'll see more sunshine later today than we will this morning. So highs right around 73 around Detroit, Troy and Ann Arbor, Pontiac about 71, Rochester 72 and Auburn Hills around 71 degrees. So a much cooler day today, but it's going to stay dry with decreasing clouds through the morning. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.